So let's go back a little bit to basic optics to understand how things work while performing retinoscopy and why we are seeing these kinds of reflexes. I will start with width movement. So again, here is width movement. The reflex is moving in the same direction as the sweeping light. So to understand why we are seeing width movement in this model eye, let's draw an eye and imagine that it's a hypermetropic eye, long-sighted eye, in which the light entering the eye from your retinoscope will focus behind the retina. As the refractive power of this eye is not strong enough to bring the light focused on the retina. So in this eye, when you sweep your retinoscopy light across the pupil, the reflected part from this light is moving in the same direction as the sweeping light. As shown here in this animation. The reflected part, here the yellow small part moving in this diagram, resembles the red reflex seen by the observer moving in the same direction as the sweeping light. So this is with movement. Now let's move to against movement. Here is a real time image again. So let's have a look at this diagram again. But this time it's a strong short sighted eye, myopic eye and the light entering the eye will be focused in a point in front of the retina. So in this case, when you sweep your light across the pupil, you will see that the reflex is moving in the opposite direction to the moving light, as the light now falling in the retina is moving to the opposite direction of sweeping. And finally, let's move to the neutralization state. Here is our video again. The pupil is filled with light and there is no definite width or against movement could be seen. And here is our diagram again. But this time the light is perfectly focused on the retina in the yellow small part as you can see. So when a moving streak of light such as retinoscopy light falls exactly on the retina like in this animation it will be reflected from the surface of the retina in the form of diffuse bright light and it will not be moving as the retinoscopy light is moving. Please put in mind that all previous examples are assuming that the light is entering the eye parallelly, which is not the case in reality, as retinoscopy light enters the eye slightly diverging and this amount of divergence is depending on how far is the retinoscope from patient's eye. And so that's why we need to compensate for working distance, which I will talk about it in detail later on in this course.